Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm going to do another taste test on Choco Wright Yellow Cake Protein Bar. This one right here is interesting. Uh, it's a yellow cake. I don't even know what a yellow cake is. I do like that it says multi toll free, gluten free, one gram of sugar. Before I open this up, let me go over the nutritional facts. So this bar is one serving and it has 200 calories, seven grams of fat, 27 grams of carbs, but 22 are fiber, so that's going to be good for the system. One gram of sugar and two grams of erythritol. I wonder why they decided to mix sugar and erythritol. I wonder if there was an ingredient they already had, natural sugars, and therefore they had to put it on there. But anyways, it has 20 grams of protein. Now, if it has 20 grams of protein and 22 grams of fiber, wouldn't that be a fiber bar? I don't know. That's just the logic that I'm used to. So I'll give, read you guys off the top uh, ingredients. That's protein blend, whey protein isolate, milk proto protein isolate, isomalto oligosaccharides. Oh man, like the third ingredient is almonds and unsweetened chocolate, and then erythritol, co cocoa butter, and soy lecithin. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that that second ingredient is just for keeping it together, keeping it this texture, which is kind of kind of gummy and and kind of rubbery, rubbery. I don't know if that's the right word, but okay. So let me open this up. Uh, my assistant kind of gave out. She couldn't wait because she wants to use a tablet. Ooh, right off the bat, I smell sh sweetness, sugar. Mm. I can't tell if that smell is vanilla. It's, it, it does have like a vanilla essence to it. I might be wrong though. Okay, so let me try this out. Mm. The texture is the same as the protein bars that they sell at Costco, which is my kind of reference point. One, because they're cheap. Two, because uh, they're good. The only downside to those is that I get gas from them. So I wonder if this one with 22 grams of fiber and 20 grams of protein, if it's gonna have the same effect. The flavor is really good though. I do like that. Mm. I like the chewiness. It breaks apart nicely in your mouth once it gets kind of, once it gets going. It does start getting a little bit overly sweet towards the end. Mm. So I, I do like the flavors. The only problem that I have with this bar right now is that I can't really pinpoint to uh, a, a specific flavor. Maybe because I'm not recognizing either vanilla or almonds or whatever other ingredients are in here cacao and I don't think I've ever ate yellow cake I don't know what the yellow cake is made out of I guess that's the flavor of yellow cake it's gotta be that's the only thing that, I, that I'm having an issue with I don't recognize the flavors it is good though it does get overly sweet towards the end like I can feel it right here the sweetness now I did have a sore throat a couple days ago that's why my voice is a little raspy but I don't think that's why my throat feels like that I think it's just overly sweet it is good though now the keto crate website is saying that this is three dollars so that's my other problem with this bar. The ones at Costco are comparable to these, flavor-wise, uh, they're good. And those are 10 bars for $18. So that's $1.80. I can basically save $1.20 per bar if I just buy those. These did get delivered and they have to go through a, a, a system. So if I can get them for cheaper, maybe by buying them in a box of 10 or 20 on Amazon or whatever, then that might be worth it. But $3 just by itself, I don't know. I mean, it's gotta be cheaper when you buy a bulk, right? So yeah, that's it. I do like it. If you know what yellow cake is, and uh, if you try yellow cake, then you might enjoy this one because I don't recognize the flavor and I'm gonna assume that that's what the yellow cake flavor uh, is. But I did enjoy the chewiness of it. I did enjoy the sweetness in the beginning. Towards the end, it got a little bit much, but it wasn't crazy. It gets crazy for me when I have to drink water to wash down the sweetness when it's too much. So this one, I don't, I don't feel like I'm at that point, but I would prefer it to be a little less sweet. If it's possible, they might be able to get rid of that sugar and it'll just be the erythritol. I'm gonna check them out, see if they have any other flavors. Uh, if they do, I'll probably buy those. But in the meantime, let me know in the comment section below if there's a protein bar that you prefer, that you think has uh, everything, uh, flavor, texture, and all that. Uh, if you tried it and you want me to try it, let me know. If you haven't tried it, but you want me to try it, also let me know. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I have a bunch of videos coming up. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. 
Don't forget to hit the notification button so you know when new videos are up. And also, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Risa, ¿quieres probar? Risa, ¿quieres más? Está bueno. She hasn't tried it and she's... <laughs> she was convinced by my, um, my taste test.